Welcome back. It's now 8.06 on your Sunday morning. And you know what's scarier than the presidential election? Halloween and the amount of sugar your kids will have at their fingertips in just a matter of time. But Dr. Jim Rogers has a solution. He joins us to talk about what's coming up November 1st, the day after all that sugar yeah. comes out. Thanks for joining us. You hold a buyback. To, yes. To we interact we, with these kids. We hold a cash for candy program. It's uh, to buy candy back from the kids. Um, we've done this now for four years, and the candy, once we get it, it goes back. We send it back overseas. Um, we have gone through the Mount, Matt Maupin Foundation in the past. This year we had a patient actually approach us, and they have a foundation called the Hole in the Heart Foundation, which is for currently serving troops out of Claremont County. And yeah. it's a family support organization. Um, we're going to give donate the candy to them, and then their family members and parents will get it directly to troops overseas. For people who live right here, that's yes. terrific. Yes. Now, here's the question: You know, if if you were raised to brush and floss and do that regularly, what's the problem of having a little extra candy? Still, still an issue? Well, it's it, it's still an issue. I mean, we have fluoride in our water that helps, you know, with the calcification of the teeth. However, you know, it's. Everything in moderation is kind of the, the position we take as an office. And, you know, if you're, you know, let your kids eat candy, that's fine. Um, after that, you know, have them go brush your teeth, rinse out with some water, you know, and, and limit the amount of sugar. But Not I'll be honest, <laughs> my kids eat candy, so. Moderation, though, that's a good trick. Just yes. because it all comes out one night, you don't have to eat it all by the 2nd of November. Exactly. All right. Are, are we, you know, when you look at your office and, and who comes in, are we seeing a shift at all in younger generations, younger parents realizing the problem with sugar and a heavy sugar diet? Or do you oh, still see a lot of problems? Yeah, well, we, I mean, you still see a lot of problems um, with too much consumption of sugar or also the steady consumption of sugar throughout the day. You know, I, the biggest problem we see is, is pop, sugary pop that people sip on all day long is, is really the mm. cause of, you know, a, a lot of cavities. Having that know. just sitting in your mouth. Yeah, and it, you know, it, our, my philosophy, I always tell my patients, if you want to drink a pop, fine. The last sip should be as cold as the first sip, and you don't want to sip on it all day long. Oh, that's a good rule, as yeah. opposed to just let it stretch out over hours. Yeah, it's the <laughs> continual feeding of the bacteria with the sugar is what really promotes a high volume of cavities. Yeah. So, you know, if you can, you know, if you're going to have it, do it, get it over with, rinse your mouth out with some water, brush your teeth, you know. That's Whatever's a great tip. Be. I like that. And just finally, a specific financial incentive for kids to hand over some of their candy? Kind of, it, some it, of the candy? It, is, it is a dollar per pound. Okay. Last year we did 850 pounds. Um, our goal this year is to do over 1,000. Wow. So, and, and they have a lot of troops with this foundation that it's going to go help. So that's, that's the important work. part. All right. So you're helping all right, helping the kids. Those kids are going to go buy things with their money. I like it. Yeah. You're good. All right. We appreciate it. It's happening November 1st, you said? You. November 1st from 3 to 6. It's uh, Rogers Family Dentistry in Anderson Township, um, 8284 Beachmont Avenue.